Hello, Future Dennis, and welcome to part two of the PAT Extravaganza mini-series. If you came here for my podcast, Extracting Wisdom, thanks for listening and clicking on the link to watch this tutorial. If you just come across this video on YouTube, go listen to episode number nine of my podcast, Extracting Wisdom, on iTunes or Spotify first, where I discuss the two main strategies that we will use to conquer this question in this video. And as you can see, we have question number 19 of the PAT from the 2007 free DAT. If you would like to take this test, head on over to Google and simply search free 2007 DAT, and it should be one of the first options that comes up. But for now, let's get right into this question. So as discussed in the podcast, our main course of action here is to first look at each perspective and count the solid lines, uh, which will be the direct view or the sections that are in direct view. And then we'll consider the dotted lines if need be, which are, again, the dotted lines represent sections of the object that you cannot directly see. So let's start with the top view. If we consider just the solid lines, we can see we have a section here and a section here, right here. This is this rectangle, and then we have a rectangle right here. Kind of sloppy, but you get the point. So we're looking for two main sections from the top-down view. So let's make sure we can find these here. So if we start with A, here's a section and here's a section. So those are our two main sections in direct view. That checks out. So A, we will still can have to consider. Same thing for B. We can see we have a section here and a section here that are in direct view. Remember, these are indirect view sections that we are considering from the top-down view. So B is good. Let's move on to C. As you can see, we have a section here and a section here. So that's good. And then for D, again, we have a section here and a section here. From the top-down view, just considering the direct view sections, we can't eliminate any of the answers quite yet. So now let's move on and consider the dotted lines. Again, we're going to go uh, answer by answer. So starting with A, we have our two direct view sections, right? Now let's we have to look at these vertical lines now. The, the vertical lines are the lines that represent the dotted lines. So as you can see, we have a vertical line here, a vertical line here, and a vertical line here, which represents the three dotted lines in the top view. So A is consistent so far with the top view. Now let's move on to B. Again, let, we're going to highlight our two sections that are in direct view, and then we're going to highlight the sections that you can't directly see. So we have a vertical line here and a vertical line here. Now, this is really important because as you can see, we only have two dotted lines here, but the top view has three. Therefore, B cannot be the correct answer. So we're going to go ahead and eliminate that right away. Moving on to C, again, we're gonna highlight our two directly visible sections and then we're going to consider the dotted lines, or the indirect view, uh, lines that you cannot directly see. And again, right here is our only dotted line. Therefore, C is not the answer either. So just off of dotted lines, you can see how important these dotted lines are um, in eliminating answers. And then D, Again, we're going to do the same thing. Now, this is what you should start doing when you start these these uh, these questions. Is start by identifying and drawing and highlighting like I am doing, and then eventually you can move on to you know mentally visualizing these questions. Uh, same with the keyhole. Draw them out, highlight, do all those things so that they will help your mind eventually visualize these answers. Now moving on to D, we can see here that we have a dotted line here, a dotted line here, and a dotted line here. The reason why I'm not highlighting this dotted line is because it is in line with a solid line. Therefore, the solid line kind of trumps the dotted line. So therefore, you wouldn't see this right here. And therefore, we have to leave D for now. You can't eliminate it yet just based on this, um, this perspective alone. Now let's move on to the front view. Now that we're done with the top view, you just move on to the second view and do the same exact thing until you are able to find your answer. 
again, we're just going to do the same thing. So looking at the solid lines, we have one major section, two major sections, three major sections that are directly visible. Now looking at, let's look at, let's just start with D. And as you can see here, looking at it from the front view, which would be from left to right, we only have two major sections right here. And that is enough to eliminate D and confirm that the correct answer is A. And if we look at A here, we can see that we have one, two, three sections that you would see from the front. So obviously our answer is A here. Again, just to recap, the two main strategies for these questions is one, you have to know your 3D orientations or your 3D perspectives, and two, you've got to be able to learn how to work with these dotted lines. And as you can see in just this example, the dotted lines are key to being able to discern which answers are correct and which answers are not correct or consistent with the given two views of this question. So hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. If it did, please go ahead and send me an email. Uh, I, you can find my email in the description below, or you can find it in the show notes of my podcast. Go ahead and send me an email if you found this helpful, or if you have another practice question that you would like me to do a video on. I want to thank you again for checking out this video. Be on the lookout for the next installment of the PAT Extravaganza series, and I'll see you in that next video.